Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to receive notifications of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk to you about the walk brush. Uh, you probably say, what is the big deal about the walk brush? Uh, during the time when I was working in the Chinese restaurant, uh, cleaning the wok is an important part because you cook uh, in the wok with many dishes over and over again. Uh, between each dish, one has to clean the wok, so it is important to be able to clean it as efficiently as possible. Uh, the wok brush turned out to be an integral part of the cleaning process uh, because you never use your hand to clean the wok. And when I was learned to uh, how to cook in a commercial kitchen, uh, I was told over and over again, uh, you should never let your hands to get wet because you have no time to dry them. Uh, so to having a proper wok brush to clean the wok is essential. Uh, because of what I have learned in a commercial kitchen setting, uh, now I apply that in my home kitchen as well. Uh, I usually able to clean my wok in less than 50 seconds. And in this case, the wok brush turned out to be really important. Uh, for many years, I used to use a brush look something like this to clean my wok. As you can tell, it is simply not big enough. Uh, then one day, uh, I was thinking back the time when I worked in the Chinese restaurant, uh, they have the wok brush that is much larger and it made cleaning uh, far more effective. Uh, then I started to look for the same wall brush that I have used before, uh, but I was not too successful. Uh, then one day, uh, I was visiting with my friend Tony. Uh, when I arrived at his house, uh, he was cleaning the steps of his uh, deck. Uh, he was using a brush that looked something like this. When I saw it, I immediately recognized that, yeah, this is the brush that I've been looking for because this is the brush that I use in the restaurant to clean the wok. Uh, it turned out that this kind of brush is very commonly used for cleaning the deck, as in the case what my friend Tony is doing, uh, as well as for a cleaning tire of cars. Uh, this kind of brush is known as Pimara brush. It's made out of bristle from the Pimara palm. You probably have seen bigger version of this type of uh, uh, material that are used for sweeping floors. Uh, in this case, the bristle is natural. Uh, it is relatively stiff. Uh, furthermore, it is very economical and it is very hardy and it lasts for a long time. And now most of the other brushes that I have used in the past are made out of nylon. Uh, they are not as stiff as this Pimara brush in general. Uh, furthermore, in comparison to nylon brush, the Pimara brush lasts much longer the, because the bristle is natural and they do not wear as regularly or as quickly as the nylon brushes. Uh, however, the best thing of all is that the brush is very large and it covers the surface of the wok really well. Uh, in many ways, this kind of uh, brush is designed perfectly for cleaning a 14-inch wok. And because of the curvature of the wok, uh, this can go over the wok very easily and uh, smoothly. Uh, this wok does a really good job in most of the cleaning tasks when after you cook in the wok. I use the Pamara brush on uh, woks of all kinds of surface from cast iron, light cast iron, carbon steel, and stainless steel, and it works very well for all these surfaces. Most of the time, if your wok is well seasoned, a very little stick to the surface of wok usually remain some sauces or some uh, stuff that only lightly stick to it, and the wok brush can easily uh, detach them and clean it. I usually clean the wok uh, with the wok brush uh, under running water. As you can see, uh, usually in about uh, 10 or uh, 30 seconds, the wok is cleaned. And because of the size of the uh, wok brush, as well as the long handle, uh, you never get your hands wet. I really like this feature of the wok brush uh, because usually uh, I cook uh, two to three dishes for a meal, therefore I need to wash the wok a couple times, and it's nice that I can keep my hand dry. Uh, however, the wok brush does has several problems that you need to keep an eye on. The first is that uh, the bristles of the wok brush are very close to each other. So when you uh, clean the wok, if you have any uh, food remnants left behind, it might get stuck between the bristles. If the food ingredients got stuck uh, in the bristles, this is not good for sanitary reasons. So you should try to avoid as much as possible from any food remnants uh, stuck in the bristles. Uh, I find that one way to avoid that is that uh, before I clean the wok, I want to make sure that I have rinsed off any food ingredients that might have remained uh, on the wok. 
Uh, so in this case, when you use the wall brush to clean the wall, uh, you will not have any food remnants to get uh, stuck in the bristles. Uh, the second problem is because of the high density of the bristle, uh, water tend to trap between them. Uh, this often makes the wall brush difficult to dry. Uh, I discovered the best way to get rid of the water that are trapped between the bristle uh, is use this method. Uh, I use what is known as a uh, sponge tower, or you can use a paper tower or a cloth tower as well. So what you do is that you take the brush and you hit against the tower, and this will let the fluid to drain out. Uh, of course, you can do it uh, in the bottom of the sink, but this is far more effective. So every time when I done using the brush, uh, I will uh, hit against a paper tower or, or a sponge tower or a regular tower uh, several times to remove as much fluid as I possibly could. And this method is really effective. In fact, uh, after you did it a few times, and if you touch the bristle uh, with your hand, you can feel that it is already pretty dry. Uh, the last consideration is uh, how you're going to store your brush. Uh, I find that uh, if you store the brush uh, by just laying it down, uh, it will not dry as effectively. Uh, so in my case, I hang the brush uh, in the cupboard. Actually, I hang it behind the door uh, underneath the sink. Uh, this worked really well uh, because it keeps the brush dry. I really like the Primara brush in comparison to other type of uh, cleaning brush. It is far more effective and it lasts for a long time. Uh, the bristle doesn't seem to uh, wear at all. In fact, I have this brush for over five years and I use it literally every day. Uh, in fact, I did not see any wear and tear on the brush at all. Uh, the brush is relatively inexpensive. It uh, usually costs under $10. Uh, now you can order them from uh, Amazon or Walmart online. Uh, I find that for 90% of the time, I'm able to clean the walk directly with the Pamara brush without using any other uh, cleaning method. Uh, I find this uh, brush work best with uh, cast iron wok. It also works very well with light cast iron wok and carbon steel wok. A standard steel wok sometimes turn out to be a little bit more challenging, but I have other methods to clean standard steel wok uh, if anything got stuck to them. Uh, when it comes down to recommendation of what one should get for the walk, uh, in addition to the standard steel spatula, uh, this is probably the next recommendation I will make to everybody. Uh, for me and for uh, most people who use the walk for cooking every day, uh, having a good cleaning solution is really important. Uh, this is a small investment, and I would strongly recommend you to get one and give it a try, see whether you like it or not. Uh, like most people, uh, I don't like to clean very much at all. Uh, however, by having this uh, wok brush, uh, it makes cleaning my wok actually uh, pleasurable and I do not try to avoid it anymore. Uh, now, I usually clean my wok immediately after I cook, uh, even before I sit down to eat, uh, because I just want to get it done. And using this brush, I can get it done in about uh, less than 50 seconds. Uh, in future videos, I will continue to give you tips to help you to make your cooking as efficient as possible. If you have any ideas or suggestions that will make cooking more efficient and more fun, uh, please let me know and I will share them on the channel. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the information in this video, uh, please click the like icon below because this will help me to reach a broader audience. Uh, I am posting my video regularly, usually one every day. And if you would like to receive notifications of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.